Here's something unusual, and I mentioned this yesterday. I haven't talked about it. Reed Shepard. Indiana offered Reed Shepard, son of Jeff Shepard, who played for Kentucky. He's from uh, London, Kentucky. There are three kids that Indiana is looking at from the state of Kentucky right now. That has never happened in my lifetime, ever, 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 ever. I mean, the state of Kentucky normally doesn't produce that kind of talent to where you can have that many, but uh, it just – it's blow up. You talk about scouring the earth. Now, Indiana is – under a different type of uh, under Mike Woodson, they're they're offering a lot of kids. Not like Tom Crean, they're doing it on purpose to say, "Hey, you guys compete. Who who wants this scholarship?" It, and I've said it before. They they they're they're going to offer two to three guys per position and let them fight out who wants this scholarship. Um. So, but the fact that they have three kids from Kentucky blows my mind. Um. Now. The odds of getting someone like Reed Shepard out of Kentucky would be mind-boggling since his dad played at UK. Um, I, I just don't see that happening. Uh, he would never be able to go back home, probably. But he lives in London, Kentucky, so who cares? Uh, move. You can move. It's about that big. Um, but, yeah, that would – it's just the offers that are flying out, tons of them. And that's something that Mike Woodson talked about when, when we spoke to him in May, right? Like he said that he is going to, he, he's not going to give players guarantees that he won't recruit over them. You know what I mean? The, the, the term recruiting over basically had you had someone at that position, you try to recruit someone else to the same position. He said, he's not going to give players guarantees that he won't do that. He said he, he wants to get guys who don't care if he does that because they're going to compete and they plan to get the start, they get the minutes for that position anyway. And he says he wants guys. That's the, he said that's the way he was when he was in college. He wanted that competition, and he wants guys on this roster that have that same mindset, that want to compete at the same position. Now, the question is, do you, do you have the talent with those guys to be able to compete, right? Like, you don't want to get a bunch of guys that are two and a half stars who are like, I'm here to compete, but you're not going to win that way. You need to get guys that have that competitive mindset and also have a lot of talent. National recruiting. That's the difference. And, and that's why Indiana will, will favor more towards national recruiting in the future. There's going to be more of a mix. I think you'll see more Indiana kids than you do right now, but that's just because of the changeover in, 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 in um, administrations. These guys did not have a chance to recruit most of those kids, all those kids that went to Purdue, they had no shot at those guys, basically, uh, unless Dane Fife had been recruiting them, but that's a different school. So now you're, again, change, change, change. So um, going forward, I think they're going to rec just recruit the best. They're going to go to these basketball events and whomever they see that is the best players, that's who they're going to offer. That's who they want. It doesn't matter where they go to high school. doesn't – I mean, especially – the better they are, let's be honest, they're not going to be here that long anymore. If, if they're really that good, you're probably going to be lucky to get two years if they're that good. So the hometown thing, while it's nice, you got to decide what you want in this day and age. What dominant programs in college basketball are built on in-state talent? None. Right. Now, Indiana's kind of unique state, and they produce more talent per capita maybe than some, but that doesn't mean they produce the most talent because I promise you Texas produces more. California produces more. It's just it's numbers. It's just in the numbers. So do you care if a kid comes from Houston or from Henryville? If you're winning, I really don't care. I don't think you do right. um, because Keith Smart – is not from Noblesville. Uh, Dean Garrett is not from Avon. You know, I mean, you, you can go on and on and on. Joe Hillman is not from Carmel. Yeah. Um, it, it's just winning, man. It's all that matters. And I think, and that's that's the other thing going forward here. It, it's recruiting high school kids is going to be less important too, right? Because you're going to, I mean, we've seen Mike Woodson build a 
roster this offseason through the transfer portal. Now, he doesn't want to do that every season because you want to have some continuity on the roster to have some chemistry. But you can fill out space that if you miss on some kids, you can fill out space on the roster through the transfer portal and find really good players. You're recruiting college now, too. Uh, the only thing with the high school recruiting is you want to be able to develop those relationships with high school coaches in this area at the very least, um, because when you do have a great player from the Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky area, you want to, as I, you be able to go get those guys. And I think that's why it's important that they were able to bring on, especially Thad Mata and Dane Fife, because those guys know the, the coaches in this area. They have relationships with those coaches, and that's how you get in with some of these players. You talk to their high school coaches, and they give you kind of the inside track as well. And that's what Mike Woodson, that's his learning curve. Is he doesn't know the coaches. He doesn't know the AAU coaches. And I think that's where Fife and Mata and, and the other assistants that they've brought in are really going to help him. And I think that's going to be important because you, when you do have a four or five star guy from Indiana, from Michigan, from Ohio, you want those guys to come to your program. And then you can recruit nationally beyond that. Someone like a Jalen Washington, who's a five star out of Gary, you want him at IU, and Purdue wants him at Purdue because that's a guy who not only is he uh, local, but he's mega talented. So you go try to go get him as best you can, and that's going to help if you have relationships with the people around him. 